Let's really give it up <laughs> for Rachel Crow. Thank you for joining Hi. us. Thank you for having me. You are insanely talented. Oh my gosh, thank you. Like singer, songwriter, act you do everything. I Z guess. Zoologist. What else do you do, yeah, Rachel? That, you know, you do literally everything. I do zoology on the yeah. side. Yeah. <laughs> How do you keep it all together? Um, I don't know. I think it, it it's not you know, easy. It's it's a little difficult, but I, I love what I do, and I don't think that I want to do anything else with my life, so. Yeah, and you just turned 21. Happy birthday. Thank you. I'm an adult adult. Yeah, what did you do for it's your real. 21st? Do you, do you remember it? I do. Yeah. I do. <laughs> uh, I went to Las Vegas. Oh, hmm. okay. I, I see will you. Just, I will just say one thing. All I know is I did walk from the club to my hotel room fully barefoot and that really? is disgusting wow. and it haunts me <laughs> in my dreams <laughs> yeah. and uh, i never want to turn 21 again wow let's just be real i you think know? you did it right though it sounds yeah. like yeah <laughs> <laughs> i guess Get old barefoot. <laughs> i was like whoa you're a whole new person i now. woke up the next morning i was like well thank god that i took a bath yeah you know because that's and the gross. test came back negative yeah. that's oh, great yeah no. even yeah. better yeah. Thank God, right? Woo, that's a relief. <laughs> but I like checked out your resume, which is exhausting to look at. You've oh, done so sorry. much at such a young age. Like when yeah. I was 21, I just started in radio. I was working part time at Friendlies, making Jim Dandies. <gasps> oh, that's awesome. Have you had Jim Dandy no, before? No, I haven't. It's I like have to do that. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, what is it? there's like uh, bananas. There's like five scoops, right, of different <laughs> ice cream. I forget now. It was a long time ago. Oh my gosh, I might pass out. It was pretty lit. That. It was a good job. It was pretty lit. Pretty lit. Not gonna lie, Jim Dandies over at uh, wow. Friendlies. But I love you. That. This is crazy. So you got hit up personally by Michelle Obama to perform I at the did. White House. Yeah. How does something like that, like, does she hit you up and you're like, she wants you to perform and you're like, MB, I got you. <laughs> I'll, I'll be right there, fam. MB. Literally, yes. Um, also, it happened uh, twice. Which <laughs> the first time I was like, what? Like, you're just bragging. Yeah. No, literally. Because that's my only thing I ever feel like, okay, bragging about. Because it's like, it's Michelle it's Obama. Insane. But I, I got um, a message like, well, sort of indirectly, I got a message because I was 13. Like, how am I going to get a message? Um, but my management got a message, and it was from the White House. And they were like, do you want to sing the national anthem? And my first instinct was like, hell no. I was like, no, I don't want to do that. That sounds like a lot of pressure. Like, I'm a kid. For 13, yeah. Literally, I was like, what? And then I was like, actually, yes, I'll do it. So then <laughs> um, they were like, well, you have to send in an audition video. So we, like, did a whole audition video singing it. And I got prepped, and they were all like, listen, like, I've had, like, three asks before. Like, you never get this the first ask. Like, it's not going to happen. Like, we're just preparing you. And so I'm over here like, okay. And then <laughs> they were like, no, it's you. And I was like, oh, all right. And so I went and sang, and um, I got to meet the family before, and I sang. And then when I turned around, I got really nervous that, like, if I hugged Barack that I was going to get, like, sniped or, like, <laughs> shot. Because too close, too close. Yeah, because, like, it's locked down. And so I like, I'll, I'll do a little demonstration. I like, if you can still hear me, I literally like move your hip all the time. Like, and like, as I was walking back, he like opened his arms and I was like, <laughs> I was like, I love Come you. Come in here for the real thing, Obama. Literally, I was like, ugh, I love you so much. Um, That's amazing. Yeah, and the second time she called me again and they were like, yeah, it's Michelle Obama again. And she wants to, I was like, Hold on. She's almost harassing me. I was you like, I'm point. sorry, again? Yeah. I was like, do you mean <laughs> <Come> twice? <on. laughs> and so then she's like, we would love for you to perform at the kids' state dinner and like do a few songs and hang out and play help us plant the garden. And I was like, yeah, of course. I was like, I think I was 15 or 16 at this point, but I was like, yeah, I'll do anything. That's I was like, you want to invite me back every year? I will. <laughs> yeah. I was like, don't test me, Michelle. Keep me on retainer. Literally. I'm, here, yeah. I'm like, to any time, I'll work for free. Like, you can just keep me in like a little like room and I'll just come out and dance for you. Like, whenever. <laughs> I'll you want. live in your basement. Yeah, Michelle. I'll live where you I'll want. I'll do me whatever you want. <laughs> Is her number in your phone? Is no. Just curious. That no? would be cool. All right. That would be so cool. Any other heady, heavy hitters hitting you up? Obama? Uh, 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 you got. Uh, <laughs> Oprah. I have. Uh, I don't know if it's his number anymore, but I've I've had Simon Cowell's number. This oh whole yeah, time. from yeah. the X Factor. Yeah. I guess I don't think that's very. It's not very cool. I guess. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I don't think it's Simon probably Cowell, it's, still. It's better than it's my <laughs> my phone book. I feel like I don't know. I have a lot of people's numbers over the years. I just like sort of collect them and then like never text them because I'm a really bad texter. You just hoard them. You yeah, hoard numbers. I'm like, I have this in case, <laughs> you know, like in case. It's I need pretty you. cool to say. <laughs> I'm in conversation with Bennett at the radio station. Yeah. I'm bringing up. Yeah. Not too, I'm like, not hi, too by the way, this is who is in my phone. <laughs> 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 not too bad. Uh, and then, okay, so you're performed for Michelle Obama, NBD, no big deal. And uh, you're on a hit TV show. 
I guess. Yeah. yeah. It's certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. Which is crazy. That's a big deal. I'm yeah, so happy that it's a hit. We've worked so hard for so long on this show. This is our... Um, January made it three years since everything started with it. And we were kind of heartbroken because it... It sort of it took it took a toll on us because we didn't get picked up when we first filmed the show when we first filmed the pilot episode um, and so we were really sad because it was such a funny concept about this school and and my character and Tim's and like it was just such all funny dynamics and so when we didn't get picked up Adam Goldberg who obviously created it and created Goldberg's was mad like he went to ABC he was like you guys like. This is, like, you know, Goldberg's is one of your best shows. Like, it's so successful. Please give us a chance. And so they said that they would air our pilot as an episode of the Goldbergs and test it. And it tested extremely high. Like, extremely high. So they finally picked us up. And then we got to start. And, and then we were really nervous for it to come out again because it had been so long since it aired. It had been, like, almost a full year since it aired. So we were watching it, and uh, we were, like, crossing our fingers, biting our nails. And the next day it was, like, it had 100% viewership um, from Goldberg's, people just kept watching the show, and like it was great. So it's incredible! Congratulations! We're really proud of it. Thank you. That's awesome. I love that show. It's so funny. If you haven't seen it, I know I'm biased, but please watch it because it's hilarious. And that's ABC on uh, ABC. Yeah, and it's eight thirty on 8 30. Wednesdays. Uh, Wednesdays, exactly. Yeah. So tomorrow School. night, I am doing an episode, <laughs> and it's really funny. That's awesome. I can tell you right now, it's hilarious. So you gotta watch it. But I'm not gonna tell you what happened. How far in advance did you film all this? Uh, I filmed this episode. I think. November. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I think I filmed this one in November. We just we wrapped the show the week of my birthday in January, so end of January. Okay. Yeah. Wow, they have that in the can, ready to rock and roll. Yeah, they're ready. It's amazing what goes on behind the scenes. Yeah, it is. It's That's really awesome. it's something else. Yeah. If you're ever in LA, you can come hang out with me on. That's set. cool. Well, I'm gonna keep you to it. Yeah. That's anytime. awesome. Literally anytime. And then you balance your uh, TV career with music mm -hmm. and your brand new single, Up All Night, which came yeah. ar out around January, right? Around mm -hmm. your birthday yep. as well. Lit yeah, that whole week was a great week for me. Yeah. It was like, I'm finishing a show. <laughs> it was like, my birthday. It was yeah. great. Michelle Obama just texted me. <laughs> I wish. Uh, if I got a happy birthday from her, I'd probably be <laughs> happy. Uh, a girl can dream. That's the next thing she asked. What a way to kick off 2019. So how's uh, how's music going? It's good. I'm really happy. I've been, you know, on the road, like, just talking about the song, and I'm really happy to bring it to you guys. So. Yeah, that's awesome. So yeah. uh, does this, like, come before a full-length EP or LP or what's happening that's with your music career? Yeah, That's the goal is an EP, yeah. Um, I'm a perfectionist, though, so we'll see when that comes out. But definitely this year. That's exciting. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm really proud of this song. I think um, for a long time I was sort of, putting out things that I didn't really believe in as much or I that weren't fully, you know, myself and and writing this and and the story that is behind it and like everything writing it. I wrote it with my best friend and like it was just it all fell into place and um everyone was so happy with it and I'm so happy with it. So yeah. Well, we're going to hear it right now. Up yeah, all night. Yeah. Super pumped. I wish you had more things going on. We had nothing to talk about. I know. I can't believe it. I'm so life, sorry. And I kind of feel bad for you. Yeah. I, you know, I feel bad for me, too. Yeah. Thank you for, for saying that. <laughs> it means a lot. Rachel Crow, give it up. I'm going to move out of the way so you can perform. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you.